Hey guys, in today's video I thought it'd be fun to bring you along with me to Hickory and Tweed to get some skis and to have an interview with one of the owner's sons, Mac. Yeah, so we offer fittings for both new equipment um, and a lot more popular, at least this time of season, is seasonal rentals, our leasing program. Um, so typically our sales floor and behind me here is usually packed with customers. Uh, right now we have Rebecca here uh, at a good time, a little bit more quiet. Um, so we'll offer, offer uh, fittings obviously for seasonal rentals for kids starting at age three up to um, adults. As we've had people in their 70s, we fit them for either new equipment um, or seasonal rentals. Um, so we typically start uh, with the ski boot. Uh, that is the most important part of uh, our rental package, our new equipment. If you're gonna invest in one piece of ski equipment, we always recommend starting with the ski boot. Um, a proper fitting and comfortable boot will help your ski immensely and make your day a lot more comfortable out there. You won't wanna come to the lodge every few runs. All right, guys, so we're back in our leaf boot shelves here. It's a little messy. We're running through here typically, trying to keep it as clean as possible. Um, but we're a ski shop that's always on the run. Um, so this is where we will uh, pull all of our ski boots for our customers, whether um, it's a little child. We have boots starting um, at the smallest sizes uh, our ski companies make, um, all the way up to the largest feet. And we see very large feet here. So we have thousands of boots back here and we always cycle through through the season. All right guys, so we have our boot here for Rebecca. Um, we've done our liner fit already, uh, which when we take out the, the literal liner of the boot, the soft part of the boot, um, we tried that on her foot um, to make sure lengthwise um, that's looking good. Make sure she's got a little bit of wiggle room on the toes. Um, but again, her feet are done growing at her age, so we're fitting pretty true to size. Um, and then we've done our, we shelf fit every boot here to Green Street. So we pull out the liner itself, and then have, we have Rebecca stand in the boot, just the shell. It's not the most comfortable part of the fit, but it's important to check out the overall volume of the shell itself, because we're looking for different measurements, whether it be the liner and the shell. Um, so we've done both of those things. This boot's looking good. Um, now we're going to try on kind of the final product. We'll try on the full boot, have Rebecca flex in it a couple times, walk around the shop, make sure everything's feeling, uh, feeling comfortable. So here we go. Right, I'll help you slide it on the first time here. And just give me a couple of heel kicks again. Like heel into the heel pocket of the boot in the proper position in the boot. Um, that's going to mimic how she's feeling when she's out on the hill. I'll help you buckle it up just for fitting purposes here. We always start with the top two buckles. Um, that moves your foot, like I said, into the heel pocket of the boot. Um, you don't want to start with the bottom two buckles. That hinders the foot from being able to slide back at first. Um, so this buckle, particularly right here on the boot, is the most important thing. That keeps your instep locked down um, in, your, in the, the heel in the proper position of the boot. Um, I'll do up the power strap for you here. Just helps for added support um, and structure in the boot itself. So always important if you're an adult skier, um, particularly a more aggressive one, you have a power strap in your boot. Um, and we'll do the bottom one here. And then Rebecca, just give me a couple more heel kicks against the ground. We'll have you stand up now. And a couple flex forward. So see how her, uh, her shin is flexing forward, that's good. That means she's gonna be able to flex the boot as she initiates a turn. Um, if she wasn't able to flex the boot, we typically say that's a little too strong, a little bit too uh, too stiff for her. We'd probably size you down into a softer flex boot. Um, as of now though, you're able to flex it. Um, I'd like to walk on the, the shop here, walk on the floor, make sure, like I said, first and foremost, it's feeling comfortable. They're so comfortable. So and this is a, how great they look. This is a Nordica Cruise 75 boot. Nordica is one of our favorite brands here. We've been working them forever. One of the uh, most well-known names in the ski industry. Cool. 
All right, guys, so we now picked up Boots for Rebecca um, out on our ski floor. We're back in at least ski room now. Um, tons of skis that always get cycled out. Um, we have an off-site facility, too, that we bring in our thousands of skis that we lease out to customers every year. Um, so I talked with uh, Rebecca, got a sense of where she likes to ski, her skiing ability. Um, out of the skis we have here in our lease options, um, I picked out a more aggressive, high-performance option for Rebecca as a more aggressive skier. Um, we picked out the Black Pearl 88 from Blizzard. Um, this has been one of the best-selling skis on the market for women the past several years. It's done really well uh, for us and Blizzard. Um, it's got a vertical sidewall, um, helps pull the more precise edge, a little bit more surface area, stronger support um, when you're over on edge. A um, little bit more width if you want to take it in the trees or in softer snow conditions. This is 88 millimeters. Um, so again, based on uh, Rebecca's skiing ability and where she likes to ski, whether it be um, in the trails on the East Coast or taken uh, out West, going in softer snow conditions, this is the ski we're going with. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca and I'm here with Max with Green Tweed and we're going to ask you a few questions. So Green Tweed started in 1961. Uh, funny enough, we're actually celebrating our 60th year in business um, as of this fall. So we're all super excited about that. Um, it was founded by Jimmy Ross. Uh, he was a local legend around here. Uh, he moved out to Aspen. Um, my dad had worked here since the mid-60s when he was in high school. He came back and bought the store in 1985. So he's been running it ever since, and I've been involved in the shop the last eight years and hoping to continue the long-standing tradition. What's up with you for your husband? Yep, so uh, this started traditionally as a ski shop in 1961. Um, so full year, um, full service ski shop. We also started our bike business um, back in 1985 too when my dad first bought the shop to offer more spring and summer warmer month services to our customers um, and we also have a huge offering of ski apparel and winter fashion. Not many people know that but we offer a wide variety of brands from Europe, USA, some harder to find brands as well as kind of the industry leaders that you would know of. Are there any deals that you're offering new and old customers? Yeah, so now is a really good time to come into the store um, here at Hickory and Tweed. Um, starting on August 3rd, every year, um, the first day uh, or first weekday of August, uh, we start our leasing program for the season. Um, so we have customers coming in at 10 a.m. when we open, uh, first day of August, to get their rental gear for the season. Um, all customers get 15% off all their rental gear in August and September. Um, if you're a returning customer, um, you'll continue to get that deal if you come in those first two months of the season. Um, any new customer, new to Hickory and Tweed, you get that 15% off their rental gear no matter when they come in their first season. Um, we don't charge a deposit on any of our rental gear. Um, a lot of our competitors do. We do not. We trust. We try to build a really good relationship with our customers. We trust everyone to bring it back at the end of the year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk Of course. To me. Thank you. And if you guys are liking what you're hearing, come on down to Hickory and Tweed and come talk to us. Love it.